We're really excited about the project in Honduras. It's a, it's a sort of a step away from what we're doing in Guatemala. It's far more rural. Um, we're working in a very small community called San Rafael. It's more like a settlement. I mean, there's very, there's no town centre. It's the the houses are, are just dotted over the hillside. It's just such a surreal experience. You don't think if you're from London or England or the States, you'll ever be up in a pickup truck in the middle of the ploughed forest mountains. And um, when you get up to the school, you see the kids climbing up the mountain, and you as you get nearer and nearer, more kids appear and then you stop outside the gates of the school which is literally in the middle of nowhere. And there's just fields and mountains around. The community is very isolated but all the kids have this big, big need and wish to, to learn, to, to be educated. It's not their fault that there's one teacher there for six grades. The children in the school before the volunteers came along were used to just copy, copy, copy. The, the teacher would set them some work and move on to the next grade, set that grade work do, move on to the next grade. There's no creativity, there's no chance for the children to actually ask the teacher, how do I do this? Now with the volunteers, as their teachers, there's much more chance and scope for these children to learn more. I think it's great that the volunteers are there because there's a lot of kids that aren't advanced as some of the other ones and they don't really receive a lot of attention from the local teachers because there's so many kids in the classroom and some of the ones that are maybe at a lower level get left behind. So with the volunteers there, we're able to give them that individual attention and we're able to lift them up and get them more advanced and so they're, they're caught up with the rest of the class. We teach in San Rafael and we live in Copan, that's where the volunteers stay. And Copan is just this beautiful little town. It's very colonial, very picturesque. It's just surrounded by this beautiful valley. There's not hardly any traffic there, there's not any pollution, and it's just a small town and everyone knows each other in the town. It's a really beautiful little base town for the, where the volunteers can feel very safe, can feel very at home immediately. You've got the, the basic amenities that you need, you've got the bank, you've got uh, a couple of bars, you've got some little shops. And you're able to just um, relax in the town with your Spanish books, learning Spanish or preparing lessons for the next day in a cafe with a liquido. It's just relaxing, a way to spend an afternoon. Outside the, the work that the volunteers undertake, the, Copan has got so much to offer in sort of weekend activities. You know, they can go off um, you know, hiking, exploring, see the ruins, go up to the hot springs, go horse riding. Those who are slightly more adventurous can go up to the Bay Islands, Roatan, do a bit of scuba diving, you know, five, six hours away is, is uh, the Caribbean coast of. Honduras. There's, there's lots to do outside the, the, the work that the volunteers undertake. My favorite thing in Copan is to go to the ruins. And the ruins there, it's, it's one of the great tourist sites in Central America. Copan is famous all throughout the world for being one of the finest examples of Maya art and sculpture. So it's, it's pretty unique to be able to live in this town where this great archaeological site is and you can just go there any day you want it's just a couple minutes away so for us it's really nice to see one of the great wonders of the world just right in our backyard. I'd really recommend this project because you really get to meet the community and the culture of Honduras and it's very unique it's not like you're a tourist. For those volunteers who want to experience rural Honduras uh, to work and make such a difference in, in such a small little community but at the same time have their base in Copan, a really lovely, beautiful town. I, I believe that um, our project in Honduras would, would certainly satisfy that volunteer and I really believe and hope that our project will continue to grow in years to come.